Okay, so this is going to be totally off the cuff and unedited because um, I'm, I'm going to try something different here. So I have always been great on stage. I've spent my entire life on stage and um, I'm incredibly comfortable on stage. It doesn't matter if there's 10 people in the audience or a thousand people in the audience. In, in both of those environments, I'm comfortable and I usually do a really, really good job. But the story is a little different when it comes to camera. In fact, in the nine years that I've been in business, I have successfully avoided being on camera because uh, typically when I see the results, I'm, I'm not real pleased with them. Um, so I find that strange, don't you? I mean, it's a little weird that I can get up on stage in front of a ton of people and knock it out of the park. But when it comes to being on camera, I totally just, everything just goes south. So I've been thinking about that a lot. And then this morning when I was working out, I listened to a podcast and I'll put the, the link for the podcast in the, um, in the comment section below. But this particular podcast was about imposter syndrome. And I had a huge aha when I was listening to this podcast because I thought to myself, I am an imposter right now. I don't have very much experience being on camera and I'm not as well equipped as I could be um, to, to go on camera and knock it out of the park. So I am in essence an imposter and that's okay. That's normal, right? So we're always wanting to push ourselves outside of our comfort zone. We're always trying to be just on the edge of that bubble and uh, doing more and, and being more and, and asking more of ourselves. And when we do that, we are in fact an imposter because we're trying to get better at something that we're not already experienced at. So that, that was my first aha. And so I've been thinking about that and thinking about that. And I thought, well, Starla, you're a coach. Um, you're constantly pushing people outside their comfort zone. You're constantly encouraging them to fill the gap. You're here right now. This is where you want to be. What is that gap and what do we need to do to fill it? So I was like, okay, let's just uh, take a page out of your own book and start having that discussion with yourself. So then I started thinking, well, why, why am I comfortable on stage? What is it about being on stage that I can get up there and knock it out of the park? And this was my next aha. When I'm on stage, I am consumed with the human interaction that's going on. I feed off the audience. In fact, I let the audience inform my decision making. I'm constantly looking at their facial expressions, I'm watching their body language, and I'm paying very close attention to how they're engaging with what I'm talking about. And then I, I make adjustments as I go. Do I need to stop and slow down? Do I need to revisit a point and maybe address it a little bit differently? Or do I need to go ahead and make a right turn here because this was, would be what's in the best interest of this audience. So that's what's consuming my thoughts. And um, because of that, I'm pretty nimble. In fact, most of my presentations on stage, they're not scripted. I just have a game plan. I know what my points are going to be, one, two, and three. And I know what the flow is going to be, but I don't want to go much past that because I want to let the audience tell me where I need to go. So. How is that different than being on camera? Well, all I have is this stupid camera right now. This camera is just sitting here staring at me and, and, and I'm having to make believe I'm talking to an audience that is clearly not here. So I've got nothing to go on. This was my biggest aha because I was like, why, why, why? You should be great on camera, Starla. Um, but I'm not because my mind can't get consumed with it what it normally gets consumed with when I'm on stage. So my next question to myself was, okay, so what do I consume myself with when I'm on camera? Well, I start asking myself the questions I would normally ask myself. How are they hearing this? Are those the right words? Is that going to make sense? And I keep asking questions like that. And all of a sudden I find myself obsessed with perfection. And I start overanalyzing everything I'm doing, everything I'm saying to the point that I, I just become paralyzed and, and I keep starting over and having to uh, try again, try again, try again. And next thing you know, when I watch myself on camera, I see this very subdued, 
person who, um, who lacks personality um, and who, in my mind, isn't very engaging. Because the other thing, when I'm on camera and I'm, I'm worrying about perfection, what I'm also worried about is not making mistakes. And any of you who have seen me on stage, you know I make mistakes. I don't always speak correctly. Uh, sometimes I'll mess up something in the area of grammar. I might actually use a word incorrectly. Um, I'm kind of notorious for using phrases um, in ways that they probably shouldn't be used. And um, I can be very animated and dyna dynamic and, and I can be a little bit silly at times and and for some reason when I'm on the camera, I don't wanna do any of that stuff because I'm fearful of what it's gonna look like on camera. So I've got some big decisions to make, um, but the, the one decision that I have made that I know that I need to make is that in order to fill in this gap, I'm just going to have to work. I'm going to have to continue to do research, watch other videos, practice, 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 and also remind myself that um, the Starla who shows up on stage is liked by a lot of people. Uh, not everybody, but by a lot of people. So when she shows up that way on camera, there's still going to be an audience of people who absolutely adore her, believe the same things that she believes and, and will want to engage with her. And then the rest of those individuals who aren't engaged by my videos will just move on. And I think at the end of the day, uh, it all boils down to that. Um, so I come out here and I, I share that with you because I just want to let you know that I am pushing myself outside my comfort zone. I am dealing with imposter syndrome right now, but I'm not going to let it win. I feel very equipped to, um, uh, to, to battle it to the point that I win and it doesn't. And um, I also want to be liked and accepted by everyone. So I'm taking another page out of my book and reminding myself that that's uh, very unrealistic. So let me know what your reaction is to this video and this approach. Some of you are going to like it. Some of you aren't uh, still looking for feedback. I think all feedback is great feedback. So would love to know your thoughts. All right. That's it for me today. And as always, um, go out there and get after it. That's what life's all about.